For some of you who have seen my previous video, these computers may look very familiar to you. If you look closely at the front, I'm not sure if you can see it on video or not, on the nameplate here, it says IBM Personal System 2 Model 50. In fact, both of these computers say that on the front, although in fact only one of them is actually a Model 50. In a minute, I'm going to show you why. Well, I'll tell you why. Um, this one on the right here is a Model 50. The one on the left is actually a Model 70. The reason why it says Model 50 on the front is because the person that I got this from uh, said that the original cover for the Model 70 was so badly damaged that they simply replaced it with a Model 50 since both the Model 70 and the Model 50 use the same case on the outside. In a minute, I'm going to show you the inside. You can see that they are, in fact, very different. So I've turned these computers around. You can see that up here, it says IBM PS2 8550, while on the other side, it will say IBM PS2 8570. And looking at the back, we can get sort of a little view of one difference already, besides a model number. You can see here, we have a fan, I'm not sure if you can tell us on video or not, but on the Model 70, the fan grill is blocked. There is no fan there, it's just a plastic sheet. Uh, when we open them up, you can see the inside, and you can see where the fan is on the Model 70. Uh, this Model 50 was introduced in uh, 1987 as one of the original um, IBM PS2 models. This has a 80286 processor and one megabyte of RAM. The Model 70 was introduced in 1988 as a basically a desktop equivalent of the Tower Model 80 that has a 3D6 processor running at 20 megahertz and it came with 2 megabytes of RAM but you can expand it all the way up to 6 megabytes. This particular one here has 4 megabytes installed. And the processor on the Model 50 here ran at 10 megahertz. So the Model 70 processor is twice as fast, as well as being a much better enhanced processor. Uh, the 286 processor is a 16-bit processor, while the 386 is a 32-bit processor. Uh, the Model 70 in this particular model is the Model 70-121, which means that it has a 120 megabyte hard drive. The Model 50 here has a 20 megabyte hard drive. So there's a vast difference in hard disk size between them. Uh, this particular Model 70 that I have here originally retailed for around $8,000. And if you wanted, you could buy an even uh, better model, which had a 25 megahertz processor, as well as an uh, cache on the motherboard. And that model costs around $11,000. Um, so I'm going to turn these back around and take the cover off and show you the internal differences. So, while I have these turned around, I loosened the two thumb screws on the top of the back, and then the case simply slides forward, like this, and then lifts off. So, we now have an inside view of the Model 50 and the Model 70. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention while I had these turned around. On the back, this one says, made for IBM in Mexico. And this one says, made for international business machines. So I believe this one here, the Model 70, is made in USA, while this one here is made in Mexico. So, at first look, um, we can see some pretty obvious differences. Uh, one being that the hard drive here is uh, stored long ways this way in the Model 50, while it is the other way in the Model 70. I'm going to bring these closer in a little bit so you can get a better detailed view of them. Um, but other than that, we can see that the fan on the Model 50 is back there against the back of the case, whereas on the Model 70, it is right there on the power supply. So let's move the Model 70 up. 
get a better view here. So if we're looking at the back here, we can see that this is our hard drive here, the 120 megabyte hard drive. We can also see this extra rail here. That is if you wanted to install a five and a quarter inch hard drive. Since they moved the fan from here to here for the Model 70, they increased the size of this hard drive bay. So if you wanted to, you could insert a five and a quarter inch hard drive in this bay instead of the three and a half inch hard drive. Uh, the Model 80, which is the tower model, I believe came standard with five and a quarter inch hard drives. And the reason why you might want a five and a quarter inch hard drive is because they could store a lot more on the drive than the three and a half inch drives could. I believe uh, this drive here is a 120 megabyte hard drive. I'm not sure if they offered a larger um, hard drive for um, the three and a half inch. I know that this that this is the largest hard drive you could order for this model from IBM is a 120 megabyte hard drive. Um, but the Model 80, which is the tower model, which had five and a quarter inch drives, you could get a 320 megabyte hard drive and a five and a quarter inch drive. So if you wanted to install one of those hard drives in here, you had the ability to with this larger drive bay here. Um, other than that, they look pretty much the same in the front. We've got our speaker up here. You can see that. Got our speaker up there, the CMOS battery, uh, two floppy bays. Um, if you look at this floppy bay, you can see our memory down in here and the one extra slot which is unused. On the Model 50, you'll notice that is not the case, that's covered up. And the reason for that is that the Model 50 does not allow you to upgrade the memory. So this model came with one megabyte of RAM, and that's all you could get on the motherboard. If you wanted to have more than that, you would need to use one of these RAM expansion cards here. And you can see I've got a RAM expansion card in here which has two megabytes on the card. And that was the only way to upgrade the memory for the Model 50. Another thing, if you look here, back here are expansion slots. The Model 50, you can move this. The Model 50 has different expansion slots than the Model 70. So you'll turn this around. So, if we look here, we can see that these expansion slots are smaller than these larger expansion slots here. Uh, this one is about the same size on the end here as the ones in the Model 50. This one on the end here is a, I believe for a video or audio card. You'll see that the Model 50 ports have the one section here and then a, a key and then another section. And this, these are the 16-bit uh, MCA ports, MCA card expansion slots. This slot here is 16-bit, but it has this extra piece there in the front. And that is in case you want to install a video card. This, I believe anyway, that allows the video from the expansion video card to be directed into the video connector on the back of the machine down here. So these machines came with VGA graphics on the motherboard. If you wanted high resolution, you could install an XGA card in that slot on the end, and then you could still plug your monitor in here, down there, and get the XGA graphics so that it'll pass through. These longer ports here are 32-bit um, MCA expansion slots. Since the 386 processor is a 32-bit processor, you can add 32-bit cards into the Model 70. So let's get a little look um, at the CPUs here. You can easily see that right there is the 3D6 processor in the Model 70, and the empty socket next to it is for a 387 math coprocessor. Uh, this is a very early Model 70, and the reason I can tell that is because it has the full length motherboard. Then the motherboard goes from the back all the way to the front of the case. I believe IBM used the term planar for these motherboards in the PS2. And the later editions of the Model 70 had a half-length motherboard. The motherboard went from the back of the case 
only to about here. And well, I guess up to this riser here. That riser plugs into the motherboard and allows for the uh, floppy drives and hard drives to connect to the motherboard. Another difference, which I forgot to mention before, is the hard drive. You'll notice in the Model 50 here, the hard drive is this way and plugs into this card here. This is the hard drive controller card. It is a MFM and I believe it uses the ST506 interface. On the Model 70, however, see the hard drive here plugs into this riser, which plugs directly into the motherboard, and the hard drive controller is on the motherboard. Um, also, the hard drive connector is a lot wider. You can see that it runs the full length of the hard drive. Whereas on the Model 50, it's not quite as wide. It doesn't get to the end of the hard drive. And the reason for that is while this is an ST506 interface, the hard drive on the Model 70 is an SD interface which is more advanced and I believe faster than the ST506 interface. So, um, let me move these in a little bit and we can compare the CPUs in them. Okay, so I removed the expansion card from the PS2 which used to be in here. We can clearly see the 286 processor down there as well as the 287 expansion slot. And over here we have the 386 processor as well as the 387 expansion slot. And here you can get a clearer view. You can see these are the 32-bit MCA slots. This is the 16-bit uh, video expansion slot. And if we look at the Model 50 here, we can see that it has two 32-bit expansion slots, as well as a third one with the video pass-through on it, back here. As well as this slot here, which is where the hard drive controller plugs into. And the hard drive here plugs into this card, which is the hard drive controller. So, we can move these back up. Uh, that doesn't give as clear as a view as I was hoping. Um, I was hoping to compare these processors side by side here. Not going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Alright. Well, anyway, you can see that the 287 here is much smaller than the 387 here. And I believe this this also is a lot hotter. If you touch this while it's on, this chip gets quite warm. The 287, or the 286 rather, I don't think does. Uh, probably due to the fact that it has a lot less transistors, as well as, as the fact that it runs at half the frequency. Um, oh, another thing, the power supply in the Model 50 here, I believe, is rated at 94 watts, which is very low compared to power supplies in computers today, while as the Model 70 is rated at, I believe, 130 watts. And these power supplies, let me see if I can move this over here. This is the power supply along the side here, and the Model 50 is rated at 94 watts. And this power supply has an edge connector down right down the bottom down there and the motherboard simply plugs into that edge connector there are no wires going from the power supply to plugs on the motherboard the motherboard simply plugs into the edge connector on the power supply so this power supply is uh, 94 watts well while the model 70 is 130 watts and both of those are pretty small compared to computers today but that's about all i have to say You've seen the major differences between the Model 50 and Model 70, despite the fact that they look basically the same from the front. And although I don't have the proper case for the uh, Model 70, I believe the only difference in cases is that it would just say Model 70 386 on the front instead of saying Model 50. But I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the differences between the PS2, Model 50, and Model 70. And thank you for watching.